So this is my Ultrabook, the HP Envy 15TJ100, which I use for on-the-go rendering. It has an i7-4700MQ mobile processor, a GT740M, 8GB of RAM and a 1TB hard drive. But can its mobile processor stand up to its desktop counterpart? In this video I'm going to be testing how much longer a mobile processor can render compared to a desktop. Let's find out. This is the footage our contestants will be rendering. This is a 3 minute long clip which will be rendered at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Let's get started with my desktop which is running an i7-4770K with 4 cores and 8 threads and clocked at 3.5GHz. It can turbo boost to up to a maximum of 3.9GHz. It comes with 8MB of cache. It's an unlocked processor and is running on a 64-bit architecture. So my desktop finished rendering in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's see how my Ultrabook fares against that. My Ultrabook's processor is pretty much the same except it comes with a lower TDP. It's a locked processor. It has smaller cache and a lower base, base clock. I was pretty happy with my laptop's render time. It fully rendered the footage in 2 minutes and 43 seconds, 33 seconds longer than my desktop. That's pretty impressive considering it has a mobile processor and CPU throttling is pretty bad when doing an intensive task. So what does this say? It says that Ultrabooks are a great mobile alternative if you aren't at your desk or you can't be bothered to switch on your PC. Ultrabooks are great if you are in a different country trying to upload vlogs or videos to YouTube. The extra 30 seconds can sometimes be crucial if you suddenly hear the ice cream van and you start running after it. But nevertheless, it's not too bad if you have time on your hands. So that wraps up today's video. Leave a rating, leave a comment and check out some other videos.